What size copper conductors would you select for a feeder feeding five motors with FLCs of 24, 13, 13, 10, and 9 amps, terminating to 60 degree C terminals? And the correct answer is three gauge wire. And this sounds complicated, but I know you can do it. Step one, we're going to find our FLCs. In this case, they give them to us so we don't have to go look that up in the table. What 430.24 calls us to do is it calls us to take the largest motor in the set and take it at 125%. So we take the 24 amp motor and we take it at 125%, which now equals 30. Now what it tells us to do is just total up the sum of all the other motors. So we take and total them up and it equals 45. Now all we have to do is join the two together. We join our largest motor, take it at 125%, and add it to our 45, and that gives us a new known load of 75 amps to size our wire by. Then what we're going to do is head to our primary opacity table. We are going to start on the left-hand side because it's asking for copper, and we're actually going to be in the 60 degree C column because the terminals are specified 60 degree. Remember, the terminal rating trumps all in this scenario. So we're going to start down on the left-hand side until we find a wire in the 60 degree C column that's good for at least 75 amps. And when we get there, we find that a three gauge conductor is actually good all the way up to 85. I am the electrical code coach and my bargain is that these videos will add value to you and you will in turn add value to others. Let's get to it.